from Painted World Fire Arts and today is Monday's NRPJ's Yarn Chat Podcast. Hi everyone! I hope you have all had an awesome wonderful weekend. Um, I had a good Friday. My son's performance worked out good. Um, although I haven't been feeling the greatest um, and I still don't feel good, I am still excited to show you a couple of things that I made. And that's why I didn't have a lot of time to make things between not feeling good and then just having family stuff going on, such as my son's um, concert on Friday, which was he got to sing a song at his school, and he got to um, participate in the Christmas event, and then he said he was tired and just wanted to go home, and that's what he did, and it was super good, and it was fun, and like you know, if it doesn't rain out here in SoCal that often, because it was outside, and it's was cold, but not like snow cold. So it's not so bad. That's so cal for ya. I still can't get over that because if we were in Connecticut, it would all be indoors because we'd be afraid of snow or rain. <laughs> Out here in South Cal, it's like, oh, it is getting towards rainy season, but then it doesn't rain that often. And then it never snows, so we never have to worry about um, zero below weather <laughs> or getting snowed on even though sometimes it'd be nice to see snow, just not drive in it, because that's never fun. But anyway, so we did this fun school performance, and then I got to hang out with my hubby and my son, and I will tell you more about that after I um, talk about what I made. Um, I only made two things, but they were super fun to make, um, and I made some other things, but they will be on other videos, such as the cooking and crochet item uh, video. I will be have that finished later on today and hopefully up either today or tomorrow or by Wednesday at the latest. I know I said over the weekend but I haven't felt good and I didn't think that was a good time to do some cooking and everything and make everyone sick. So <laughs> I don't want to make everybody else sick since I'm the only one that is sick and my um, son and hubby haven't caught the cold so I'm the only one that is so I don't want them to get sick as well. So. Um, I'll be doing that um, later today since I am feeling better today finally. Um, and I know I said I felt better Friday, but then I was like, just no, not quite there. I do still have a stuffy nose a little, but I don't feel like I'm contagious anymore <laughs> or gonna give it to anybody. And it'll be super fun to cook something and um, crochet it up. So I plan on making that. I have a little bit of a video for you so far, but I plan on finishing that video and making it even better for all of you. So that way, um, it looks really good and uh, everything. And I plan on finishing that later tonight and then editing it down and putting it out as well as editing this video. So that's my plan for the night. But anyways, um, I have that coming up and I have some other cool videos coming up throughout the week. Um, staying busy and then um, meanwhile I have appointments and stuff. No, I'll we'll talk more about that after this. Sorry for sidetrack. But anyways, I get to make these two cute things and I can't wait to show you them. I'm super excited. Um, I will start with this. I first, I made a cute little apple. You make it like as, this is super cute and fun, and you make it as like one flat piece, front and back, and then I chose to put a, two pieces of this and then um, stitch them together, but you can just make one piece and one leaf, but I thought it looked better because this is so puffy and stuffed, it would just look really flat and weird, and I just thought it looked more like it goes together better and stands up better, so then the thing's not flopping this way, so you can see the stem. I think they make great ornaments or hang up around the house or even a garland. I think they would also um, make nice dress balls of this new stuffing that I got. Oh my gosh, it's so squishy. I mean, best dress balls. I plan on having some up in my shop soon. Um, as well as, I think this thing would be super cute to have in my um, store. And I will have other colors of it and so forth. I want to make like a yellow one, a green one, and a rainbow one. But anyway, you make it as one flat piece. You make two pieces. You make this and this as um, two pieces and they look the same front and back. Then you put the two pieces together 
and you crochet them together is what I did or you can sew them together if you want by whip stitching them and or you can um, just do a instead of doing a single crochet all the way around like I did except for when I closed it um, I ended up doing a um, slip stitch you can just slip stitch it or like uh, whip stitch cry stitch it all around and give it a pretty border is what I was thinking of doing when I make another one there's so many things you can do but anyways I cr single crocheted back and forth back and forth back and forth and then I made two apple looking shapes and then created the shape according to the pattern then I popped in some eyes and gave it a face uh, some pretty lips so then it's a nice happy apple and then I did the same thing with the back except for no safety eyes and then I ended up crocheting them together like I already said and that was a single crochet except for when it came up to closing this I did do a slip stitch and then I did a single crochet over it because I didn't just go around once I went around twice the pattern says you can just go around once and you're done I thought it looked better if you did it twice because for instance this was indented a little and it looked like a cat ear not an apple at first so it made it more rounded and thus pointy um, and everything and I like it I made it super fast and this is like a really fun easy to do project um, where I got it I will put the patterns all up in my blog all the patterns for um, since podcast number six Mondays and the Fridays ones as well as this podcast which is podcast number 14 and everything um, and Friday's podcast will all be up throughout the week in my blog and a little bit each day I'm going to try to do because there's just so many patterns that I, that would be there and pictures that I didn't want to have to have it all in one. I decided that it would be best in maybe two or three because there's so many things that I have to update because I didn't realize it's been over a month since I updated. That's so bad <laughs> until I went on it yesterday and I updated the podcast stuff. But then I was like, oh, I got to update the patterns and all this stuff. Oh my gosh, so much back checking. And I've been talking about doing it, but now I gotta update it. I did update Instagram some. I gotta update it the rest of the way. So many updates. Now I realize why. I gotta stay on top of it for now. But anyways, I'm gonna make this really cool apple in multi-colors and it will be also up in my shop. And if you would like to buy one, or you can just go over to my blog and you can see the pattern. That will be there um, very shortly. In the next day or so everything will be updated on there. Anyways then I made a cute little donut. I think this would make cute little ornaments for Christmas trees. It would make cute garlands and it would make cute things to hang up or just as is. Just like the apple as cute as is. Um, and I ended up giving it uh, safety eyes and a cute smile. Um, oh and the yarn that I used with this is um, Paintbox yarn. It is a 100% cotton DK yarn that I used of theirs. Um, instead, yeah, I used their 100% cotton yarn because they do have an acrylic DK. But this is the um, cotton yarn that I used. I used it in their brown and their red wine, and I think this is like soft fudge. And then I, or if, yeah, soft fudge. And then this one is Expression Fibers yarn in a rainbow color that I thought looked cool as the leaf. And that's their sock yarn, and I will have links down below for all those yarns if you want to go and buy some for yourself, um, and so forth. Um, then I gave this really cool multicolor sprinkles on this, and I crocheted it. First I did a uh, chain, connected the chain, and then I worked it in the round, and creases all the way around, and I made two pieces identical, front and back, and this is with um, Paintbox DK yarn, 100% cotton. And then I popped in the safety eyes and the lips and did sprinkles. Sprinkles is with cotton embroidery floss or some expression fiber yarn. I don't remember. I just used some scraps. <laughs> and then I stuffed it with some polyfill. Um, and the same with that one. And um, it was some polyfill that I randomly found around the house. I was like, I need more. Oh, I already have some. Whoops. And I was so happy. But anyways, after you make the two pieces and everything, you sew them together. And then you whip stitch them together first through the middle then through the edges there are ones that you can increase and decrease and then you create like a loopy thing and then you connect it through the back and stuff so forth a little more crazier but they're bigger so that's why you do it a different way but the, I like making these cute little minis I will have the pattern up on my blog soon as well as I will have these in my store with a whole bunch of different flavors and sprinkles and styles can't wait 
It was super fun, easy to make, just like this is super fun and easy to make as well. Um, that's it for finished projects. Um, I have a bunch of other projects, like I said, going on, such as the Cooking With Me projects going on, and I'm going to be making another apple, so that's what this is. And, um, yeah, I'm excited about um, just making a bunch of cool Christmas things for my Christmas video and for myself, as well as some cool Cooking With Me videos coming up. I love cooking and I love crocheting and I figured all of you love cooking and crocheting too so why not let's do it together. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. And I have some yarn unboxings that will be coming up. They are sent currently and coming in the mail soon. And I'm super excited um, for that to happen. Oops. Uh, and I will be having some um, yarn. Um, tutorials coming up about how to make amigurami's and some other cool fun projects and I have some amigurami patterns that I've designed that I will be um, videoing as well as posting on my blog and I have a bunch of fun stuff that should be happening between now and into the new year um, since this is a busy time of year um, with family stuff with me it's not just busy crocheting and everything but just like um, family events and all kinds of stuff going on with my son and then my son, son will be off for three weeks and the hubby will be off for two weeks so it gets a lot less done because we do family things and other things and I will be then really busy so that will equal me um, doing a lot less and a lot less things so that's why a lot of stuff will end up into the new year and I will be updating my shop this week as well as my blogs and social medias now that I'm feeling much much better and don't have this evil cold as badly. still have it but not as bad. I hope to get my things I've been talking about getting done, finally getting done, and then continuing to add to them. It's the plan. Um, I'm going to let all of you go because um, I have some stuff to do and my son's on his way home. and. Uh, um, my dad is nicely picking me up again. I am so thankful that they live in town and they get to pick me up. So, um, please visit my Etsy shop. I am going to be updating it with a bunch of new items. Um, I have a 10% off sale. Everybody gets automatic 10% off, no matter what kind of items you buy. As well as a free little mini octopus amigurami in a random color. And that is... Um, will all be sent to you included with the item that you buy from me if you would like to buy from me Please go visit my shop if you don't see it now or you see a picture of it on Instagram ever Just let me know and I can make it for you and we can work it out And I will then put you down as custom order with Etsy and that's how we will pay for it um, and so forth um, and if you um, Want any items that you come up with let me know and I might be able to um I'm sure I will be able to create it because I can create pretty much anything at this point. But I'm sure um, we can work something out and I can create it for you and make it for you. And then you can have an awesome, uh, awesome cool um, amigurami for yourself. Or maybe some other kind of crochet item you're into. I make not just amigurami's but I make everything. Pretty much anything crochet I can make. And I also knit a little and do needlepoint and cross stitch. But anyways, all of that, all my items will be up in my Etsy store. It is at https dot dot slash slash www dot etsy dot com slash shop slash painterbrill fiber arts. I mean, sorry, painterbrill fiber art. And I am painterbrill fiber art on there. If you want to click, the, go into the search and find me that way, that's another way to find me. Please go to my blog. It is at https dot dot slash slash painterbrill fiber arts dot com. And please go there and everything. I'll be updating it with all the patterns from all the podcasts. That will be podcast number like 6 through this one's number 14. will all be up on there as well as all the new and future podcast ones. And it will be updated more often from now on. As well as um, please check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and Blog Loving and everything. I love posting pictures on Instagram and I will be updating all my other social medias. So please join me on there, and all the links are down below. Um, please hit the like if you like this. Um, if you like me to continue making videos and continue to watch me and have me continue entertaining you, please subscribe to my channel, and you can get all the latest videos from me um, and everything. And I would really like that. Um, please leave a comment if you would like, and I will 
Um, I would really like that. I love all my comments. I love getting comments and I love reading them and I love responding to them. So please comment below and I would really like that. And that's about it. Um, so I will talk to you next time. Alright? Bye bye. Thank you.